If you're responsible for managing a wide range of equipment, IT equipment, or frequently moving gear like video gear, and you're just starting out and you need a checkout system, then this video is a must watch. I am Osvaldo from Checkroom, and I'm gonna show you how to create an equipment checkout workflow using spreadsheets. Starting with what columns you should include to actually how to work with it in a situation that you have to check out gear for colleagues, freelancers, or students, for example. And later in the video, we're gonna dive a bit deeper and talk about how to avoid gear going missing and how to have a complete overview of all of your inventory at all times. Let's do it. You can either work with your existing equipment inventory list and just add the checkout flow there, or you can create a completely separate spreadsheet for it. If you want to know what basic information your equipment inventory list should include, watch this video. But we have to add a checkout functionality, but for that, we need a few more columns. Come with me. There are three must-have columns that you need to check out here plus a few extra ones that we recommend using. You need to know who is checking out the gear, what is the checkout date, and by when that gear has to be returned. Additionally, you can add a column for the serial number. In that case, you will have more accountability because you know exactly what laptop or camera was checked out and to whom. You might also want to add a column for the last person responsible. That will help you hold people accountable. And something else that increases the level of accountability is a sign-out sheet, where you have the list of gear, the dates, extra terms and conditions, and a signature box. And then that person who's checking out the gear needs to sign the sheet. And if you want to know more about what's the best way to go about that, check out this video here. But now let's see how you could actually work with that process. Let's say you have a project coming up and you need to prepare equipment for that project. You can either search for the item by name or serial number or filter out a category and go from there. When prepping your equipment, you might want to print out a checklist and scratch things out to make sure you're not missing anything or leaving anything behind. But there is a but in this workflow. Actually, many buts. <laughs> can, can I actually say but in this video? A factor that you need to consider when using this flow is that you don't have reliable traceability and tracking of the equipment. Even if you add that column, less person responsible, you cannot see the full history of what happened to the equipment in the past. If you have an open gear cage that all your employees have access to, then you would pray that they would check out exactly what they reserved. Because if they don't, then the next people won't be able to find the gear that they reserved. Also, what if people didn't return all the gear, but marked in the check-in column that they did? What our experience shows is that when returning gear, people tend to skip that check-in column. And then you no longer have any overview anymore of what is inside the gear cage and what's not, because it just went out of date. This is how a checkout flow would look like in an equipment management system that is designed for equipment checkouts. You can see your upcoming reservations, click on it, open it, and see a list of the equipment that you reserve. And then if you have a phone, just open the mobile app, scan the equipment, and it will make sure that first you're checking out everything that you booked. And if you're checking out exactly what you booked, it's that easy. You don't need to go back to your spreadsheet and then everything is just updated automatically. And then you will always know exactly who had what last, for what project, what's the status of the equipment, is it broken, does it need cleaning. All of that will be automatically updated. Now, if that got you curious, then watch this video right here, where we will go into more detail about all of the things that Checkroom can do for you. Wow, that was good, huh? <laughs> 